Welcome to EDC Pals with the Modern Power Lord. We actually have some amazing stuff for everybody today. Yeah, we got a key bar build. We got a couple items from Jeremy Sears, a few from Clocks and Colors. And then let's see here. Oh man, we even have some from Hayner's and then even Briggs and Row. So it's going to be a good deal today, folks. Uh, just a heads up. All the items here were purchased, nothing was sponsored, nothing was uh, put forward to where like had to be said, so everything is a God honest review. That's one of the key things about our show here is that we try to do really good reviews, but at the same time we try to do with products we purchase instead of having something that was sent to us. That way you know for a fact it was done with honesty. Now at the same time I want to give you guys something really cool. Um, what I see here today... Uh, Key Bar has been doing some really awesome stuff, and I wanted to point that out with everybody. Currently, right now, um, they uh, offer a Warren Cliff, but they're out of stock. They only have the Spear Point, but this was one of our new unboxing items. I have to give Key Bar credit. They come up with some amazing stuff, so I decided to rebuild my Key Bar for all of you while we're on the video today and then add this new item. I haven't opened it up. I haven't checked it out. This was the design on their casings that they have. Sharper things. Nice to see you, buddy. Thank you for jumping on with us. And then uh, let's go ahead and take a look here. Now, this is one of their uh, deep carry. I think it's their 2.0. It's a very nice option to have with your key bars. Just go ahead and take this out of the little bag here so we can give you guys an idea. I like ordering the stuff in bronze or black. Um, their work is quite amazing. Um, they are on back order on occasion. And man, that thing is actually beefy. That's going to be perfect for what I do. Let me go ahead. There we go. Get the camera set there. That way you folks can see it there. They do an amazing job. I love their bronzing work. Getting fingerprints on it already, but it's going to get scuffed up regardless. And that right there is their Deep Carry Pocket Clip 2.0. That's from Key Bar. And again, we purchased these items. Key Bar didn't sponsor this video. I just love their stuff. So I'm just doing this just to help them out. I went ahead and purchased the uh, Warren Cliff and this here just to give you guys some new options and to build this Key Bar for you. And ladies way, thank you for jumping in. I appreciate it. Now, the Warren Cliff, that's what everybody's been curious about. They don't make many of these, and when you have to get the knife, it's sometimes difficult because they run out so quickly. But the reason why is because they do such a beautiful job. Now that's the beautiful thing. Give you folks here. Actually, let's do this. It's a little bit easier to see. That way the camera can get better focus. Now that's the Warren Clip Parade. It does come with a blue and a nice uh, thumb stud right there. And boy, is this thick. And they actually, they did a really good job. This is why I love key bar. They, they go the extra mile all the time. That way, maybe if I can get that to zoom in for everybody there. They do some beautiful work. Um, it's the S30V. That's kind of what I was looking for for the key bar. I have that on my uh, Gerber Auto. It does great. Holds an edge decently. And man, I love that color work they did. And that blue thumb stuff is going to be perfect. Just to give you folks an idea of how this is going to look. And hopefully I build this properly. If I make some mistakes, we get a good laugh out of it. Oh, man, that's going to be clean. I saw the spear point, but I saw this with it closed, and something just looked so nice about that. It had that look of, like, still staying a key bar, whereas with the spear point, it looked more like a knife after that. With this here with the Warren Cliff, oh, yeah, that's going to be classic looking. And the best part is... It's, oh, of course I'm knocking things over. It's going to match the Warncliffe uh, Slenderman that I have. And I've been waiting for that. Which, folks, if you haven't checked these out by EMP, and sorry for all the cuts on the finger today, I've been working today on siding. And when you're dealing with aluminum siding, that happens. But with this, this right here is my baby. I actually don't take this one out because that's only a 0, 2 out of 100 for special editions. And, man, are his things wicked. I love these things. Never had a fail on me. EMP buddy, thank you so much for these. And please keep it up. I'm coming after your blue one uh, here next week soon. And buddy, you did a great job. And now I actually got a key bar that will actually match with it. And this is going to be a perfect, nice little setup. 
And that's the best part about EDC, folks. You can go ahead and mix it up this way, and then you can make it entirely custom. And Keybar, thanks again for doing this. So let's get back to it real quick. Hopefully I don't knock over anything else. Flashlight, go figure. All right. Now, as for building it, they gave a sleeve and some carbon slips. Now, the good thing about key bar is they will give you spares. Those are their little carbon sleeves right there. And, of course, it doesn't want to zoom. There we go. Gives you the carbon sleeves. This is a slip that goes on. I checked out their instructional video that they had online. It was pretty decent. I could not complain. Made it pretty simple thereof, so I could do this for you guys. And then that is titanium. Which is actually really nice. I didn't know they were going to do that there. Key bar always going the extra mile. Got to give them credit. All right. Get that settled there. I know I'm going to probably lose one or two here in just a moment. There we go. And folks, if you are noticing it, this right here, the afterlife. All right. I didn't get a chance to unbox this, but this was one of the bracelets from Clocks and Colors, and I've been wearing this at work doing construction here and there, a variety of things, and I'm hooked to this thing. You definitely get notice, and with your carrying EDC or if you're working around, this thing's great to have. Slips on and off, sterling silver, 925, Clocks and Colors, thank you for that, and I have a special unboxing from them for there later. So if you're ask, curious about this, that's the afterlife. Snag it while you can, folks. Roses and skulls, you cannot go wrong with the way our community is. That's about perfect. And Clocks and Colors, thank you for doing such amazing work. You guys are just great. So let's get back to our next thing here. All right, I'm going to have to build this. I'm going to warn you all, I am not the best at this. All right, so there are probably going to be mistakes. I'm going to screw up quite often. But it's going to be enjoyable nonetheless. Now, if you're curious about the key bar we're doing, this is a custom titanium one. This is their, uh, let's see, what is it? The Valhalla edition. You can't get it right now. Um, I think it was one of their limited. And honest to God, it has been the best thing in the world. I kid you not, it has gone through everything and anything. You can already tell the wear marks, how often it's used. But at the same time, it, it just takes the dings. I've been impressed with the screws take more, <laughs> take more of the ding out of it. But at the end of the day, this thing has always been with me, holds all my keys for work, never had an issue with it. And I mean, it is tough. So, I mean, if you're looking for something and you're curious if the key bars are worth it, because I've seen the price range. At the end of the day, for EDC, for what we do, folks, yes. The quality they put into it, the amount of character, the soul, the heart, and this is honest to God, like Janelle, thank you so much for helping me out with like getting a nice setup. And they put in the effort. If you're wanting to spend your money on a decent company out there that is worth your while and is growing, Key Bar, definitely go with them. They are an excellent company to deal with. They are one of the decent ones that actually provide you quality products. And their service is top notch. I will never question their service as they have had no issue. They went as far as when I contacted them about the Warren Cliff. This was back in February. And I think about May, middle of May, they hit me up and said they'd have them in June to give me a heads up early. To notify me after that amount of time, that was amazing. That gives me a, right there a five-star service that they remember their customers and they look for them. Even if you buy just one or two of them, they definitely go the extra mile for you. All right, folks, let's go ahead. Let's get to it. Let's see how I can screw this up. I'm going to move a few little things here out of the way. I mean, just in case, I do have spare parts just in case we do need those. Because I know my luck. That always happens to me every time. All right. Per the video, it says to drop the sleeve on there like that. So that's how we're going to do it. Next thing you know is the blade. All right. We're supposed to be able to drop it on. Okay, and then it says to add one of these carbon sleeves to the bolt. Which, go figure, it's probably going to be a little bit of a pain to slide on. 
Come on, baby. Alright, let's be a little bit careful and let's try the other one. Just to see. This one will probably go on a little bit smoother. Yeah, that one's a little bit easier to work with. Okay. No biggie. It's probably the screws, to be honest with you folks. They're a little bit hefty. Yep, there it is now. It's loosening up. At least you know that's not going to slide off anywhere. Got to give them credit. Go and try not to cut myself. How's it going, Philip? Uh, the model? Uh, in all honesty, this one here was a special one that... I was requesting and I didn't know they had one left it, it was by off chance but I mean that's how far they'll go but again they make these if you see something that you like or if you're looking for this model and there just to help you out there my friend the Valhalla edition key bar definitely uh, just hit them up send them an email I kid you not they will get back with you very quickly and I they will more than likely be able to help you out because even their limited editions, when they want, if you need something or if you're looking for a particular one, they are happy to help out. I'm trying to give you a close up there if it'll actually zoom in for you. Here we go. Come on. There we go. Oh, come on. Camera work with me today. That way, if you're trying to look for this model, you can get it. There are a few other ones. I actually have an extra one here to show off, so that'll give you an idea of their other limited editions because they make some crazy artwork in their key bars. Now, that's just to show you folks how it's been set up. I really do like how it locks the thumb stud there. That is a really nifty option. And camera, you need to work with me today. There we go. Just to make sure nothing falls. There we go. Give it one thing to focus on. But um, yeah, the thumb stud does actually have a locking point. That is a great little nifty feature. And I'm actually going to just get the camera to focus here. Now at the same time, I'm going to figure out how I can add my extra little tools. Because I do have some tools I want to add on to it. So, And I've kind of modified them a little bit to work with how I use them at working for construction. So... And then if you haven't checked them out, guys, I'm going to recommend this. If you're into knives, Saturday Night Life with Big Red EDC and Zach Stuff. And then you also have Ethan Ruins EDC. Those three guys are amazing on YouTube and Instagram. Check them out. Definitely look them up. If you need information or if you're just wanting a great time on some of their live shows, they are great people. All right. And I kid you not, I wish I had Ethan Ruins EDC sticker. I wish I'd had one because he does such a great job but at any time please check them out they are worthwhile if you're trying to invest in somebody that will actually give you great entertainment both of those guys they are worthwhile because they actually have the skills to go out for it and are working with the great companies out there to do it me I'm a small time but at the same time I love doing this kind of stuff all right, let's get back to building our little setup here. I'm trying to get an idea of where I can go with it. I can more than likely just go ahead and do a slide, and then I'm going to work it out with the screwdrivers. Because so I would love to keep those, but I may have to go with a key first in between. Let's see here, more than likely. All right, I'm just going to shut that way. And then we're going to want the other one to close. That way perfect all right now normally what I'll try to do is I'll throw a washer in between when it comes to the screwdrivers that way I just have a little bit more play now I'm going to give you guys a heads up you're going to see something a little different here one of my screws broke that's my fault not key bars I was uh, messing around and it twisted off. But at the same time, I actually wanted them removed. So I like the thumb studs. They help with locking it back to where if you have them, um, say uh, you have it set up to where you bring it back, the thumb stud would lock it back like this. Me, I actually do this all the time, so I wound up removing them. That was just me and personal preference. But at the same time, I love having them like this because when I'm holding the key bar, I can grip like this, grip it like this, and actually work in construction, a flathead and this right here, if I can just hold them like this, this makes it so much better when I'm trying to get torque. 
So key bar, you did a great design. I just removed the thumb stud just as a personal preference. So if you're trying to figure that out, like what's going on when you're building yours, that's what's going on here. Because if you try to integrate it with the knife right now, the thumb studs would have to be on the back spacer here. And then you wouldn't necessarily be able to have the pocket clip because when this one rotates back, it would actually hit the pocket clip that's going to be here. But they do make a version where the pocket clip comes down, so you can still have the option if you wanted to. But with me, I'm sorry, this is going to look amazing. And I already got a feeling, which we should just go ahead and throw it on there to see. Oh yeah. So much cleaner. I'm in love. Keybar, you did great. That's perfect. That's exactly what I needed. Thank you so much for that. All right, let's get to the next part over here. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, let's see. I want to go ahead and do that one there. Let's see, and then we can actually do this one here. That way I can actually keep them on the setup that I was wanting. And I may have to go with the longer screws. That's what I was curious about. It is looking like it. Except after I throw these on. Alright. Got a nice little pile up going. Gotta love it. Now I wanted to include this somehow. This has been my little best friend. Especially in construction, I could change the blade. If I ruin the blade, I could change it out. I got a whole package of them from Keybar. I can get a whole new pack at Home Depot if I needed to. But I am going to try to figure out how to integrate this. Because right now, I know if I put it on this side, I can keep it on that end there. So it does look like I may have to go the longer screws. So, yay. Alright, and plus I forgot the rubber seals, so we need to redo that. Yeah, like I knew, I wasn't going to do it right the first time. Happens every time. There we go. Drop all the parts. That's right, that had to screw on, so... We'll just do this. Okay, do it right the first time. Or the second time, I mean. <laughs> okay, first rubber seals. I know we're doing it right this time. Do that. And this way you see mistakes, that way you don't feel bad. All right. There we go. Now I know we're on the right page. There we go. Oh yeah, it's going easily on that one. That one's no problem at all. Okay. There we go. What's nice is that'll hold that tight on there. It does help out tremendously, I have to admit. Okay, there we go. I can hold right there. Perfect. Alright, now we do a sleeve and a sleeve. I'm going to flip that one over where it's rounded already. There we go. Same for that. It's already rounded that direction. Do that one there. Do that one there. All right. Now we can go for that one. Do the flathead on this side here. Actually, the flathead should be on this side. I do a washer. Do the flathead. We'll do this one here. Yeah, there we go. That works out ten times better. Yes. That way I can still get access to the pieces if I wanted to. So that will work. Okay. Now we just gotta keep everything together. It's probably not gonna be the easiest thing in the world. 
At the end of the day, I may have to get extension screws to add all the tools I want, but we will see here, folks. Go figure, that's the best part about building a key bar. <laughs> all right, let's see. Don't know if I'll be able to get this on there. Maybe, just maybe. Don't think I got another wash. Yes, I do right there. Don't know how much more I got. Probably not enough. Nope. Go figure. All right, let's take a looky. Okay. So that's what, how much space I'm trying to play with here. I could probably mess with the keys and the spacer rings. And that would actually help free up a lot of the space. Okay, no, let's see here. I'm going to have to mess around with the sizes a little bit, and I may have to get some screw extensions. That won't be a big issue at all. But at the same time, I probably need to shrink it down with the washers a little bit. And man, that is one beefy blade on there. But at the same time, I wonder if I can get away with not including the razor blade. And then just leave that off for the time being. Well, go figure. That's part of the builds always. But at the same time, the knife has been a wonderful option. I'll have to see if I got any of the extension screws left. And if I do, that's going to be a great little thing to go for. Let's see here. What I can play with. And what I can do temporarily. I'm going to need another ring. Or another washer. And that's why we got spare parts. Oh no, I remember. That's what would go on that side. Never mind. All right, folks, we're gonna give this a shot here. Let's we'll see if we can't get this to work. Hold one of them in. We're just going to have to leave the razor blade out temporarily. Okay, that one's alright for right now. Okay. Yep, that one went in good. Oh, wrong screwdriver. So far, so good. There we go. Oh, that's an empty. I see how that works now. All right. Just to make sure we got all this. I do see where I'm getting a little bit of a bend, but that's because that's not tight yet. That's okay. I can take care of that real quick. There we go. Best part about building key bars. It does look like I'm still a little loose here. I want to figure out. May need another washer. Could be what's going on with that. Yep. Um, it's probably going to need another washer. And again, it could have been that carbon fiber that could have been doing it too. But no problem, we can just do some minor adjustments here. getting a little bit better not by much so it does look like we're going to need another washer 
that I can do. How's it going, everybody? Falcon, Auto Sabier, and Bladeworks, how you fellas doing? Almost got this key bar build going. <laughs> Was trying to play with a couple different ways of doing it. I may have to get some extension screws from key bar to help out there so I can add all the tools that I want to. But no biggie on that. That's the best part about them. That is easy to get. All right, let's see if we can't do some little adjustments here. Best thing about the key bars, oop, don't stab yourself. They are easy to add stuff to. So all we probably need to do is add one more spacer ring. We can do it right there. And I'll probably equal it out. Yeah, there we go. That's better. That's what we were looking for. Best thing about key bars, you don't get it right the first time, you just try to try again. Alright. Let's get the key slipped around here properly. I like to close them up like that so that they equal out. That's good. And the screwdrivers look like they're going to be holding great. All right. Okay, this thing looks awesome now. I'm hooked. Yeah, ladies' way, I was trying to figure that out too. Hopefully, it stopped. Let's see here. Actually, I know some I can do. I can boost the router to go directly to this. But now that's the key bar. All decked out, all the tools, little screwdriver. The only thing I'm missing right now is this, a little razor blade. But I can get an extension screw or I could wind up losing one of the tools or the keys. Which that could very well happen, that's not that big of a deal. But at the end of the day, this is what we were after, folks, is this. Now I probably gotta loosen the screw up a little bit. I got a key that I wanted to follow with it. All right, but this is cool. And it does have a locking pin. I do see that. So let's see. Do you have to push it over? Make sure I don't have anything in the way. Yep, it does lock. That is cool. I'm trying to be careful at the same time because I don't know if I necessarily have everything on just right. Here we go. That's cool, folks. That is actually... That's nifty. As sharp as I can see, welcome. Oh yeah, that matches the Slenderman beautifully. Man, that is awesome looking. Oh, with that pocket clip, that is insane looking. They did a wonderful job. Key bar, you did beautiful on this here. I, you really did. This, this is just sick. I'm like really happy with this. I almost not even worry about the razor blade, but at the same time, I don't want to ruin this blade up. But yeah, that's the Warren clip right, folks. That thing is just, I'm sorry, I think they did a beautiful job. They honestly did. And that's what, it, that's what it will come in, folks, if you can get the Warren clip. They have the spear point available. They do not have the Warren cliff listed anymore. But that does not mean they can't get it back um, sometime. I actually had to wait a few months for this one when it came out and they gave me the heads up, which Janelle thinks again. Oh man, I'm hooked. Now the question is, what do you do to release it? Is there like, okay, I think I see now. I'm gonna have to figure it out here. Let's see. Is a retention pin. The last thing I want to do is snap close right there. So that's how they have it set up. Yep, okay, I see what it is now. You would actually push down. Don't want to do it like that though. 
Yep. So what you do is you actually push down on that. There's a spring action right there. And when you push down, and I bet it'll actually, with it being titanium, you'll get it to slightly loosen. You do actually have enough to where you can put your thumb down, but with this right there on it, you may have to use like your finger. I have long fingernails, so pardon me on that. And when you were dealing with tools, you need these. But um, if with just your thumb, oh yeah, you definitely. But it's a good lock. I mean, when you're worried about the blade, but you also have you don't have to worry about flying close because if this is tight, this isn't going to go flying loose. And as you see, it's still pulling the key. I may have to work on that right there a little bit and give it maybe two washers to help it out. But definitely going to work on getting some extension screws. What I do like about this here is that once you have it in there, it actually has a lock. So you're not having to worry about it popping in and out. And man, that is just so clean looking. Key bar, you did such a beautiful job. I love it. Almost kind of debated whether I wanted it on this side with the blade coming down. I could change it up a little bit so that... But at the same time, if I did that, I'd fill the pocket clip in the back. Whereas if I have it like this, actually it might feel a little bit better. Best thing about key bars, you can change it up all you want. That's just to give you guys, and yeah, it keeps on wanting to pull the key out. I may actually flip it back to one of these screwdrivers and put that there in their stead and then try to work that out. But key bar, again, you did an amazing job. I love this thing. This thing's awesome. It really is. And I bet once I get it loosened up and adjusted, it'll just be amazing. That right there is just a little bit tight. But at the same time, this is how we find things out. I love that lock, though. That means that thing ain't moving. Veriform Leather, welcome, buddy. And Kella J, nice to see you. Yeah, check out the new key bars. That's their worn clip blade. And I, I'll tell you what, they did a beautiful job. Man, that is one hell of a sturdy lock. At least they had safety in mind. I, I got to give key bar credit. They are like, well, at least we can't overdo it. And they're right. You ain't overdoing it. I mean, I think it's just a... Oh, yeah. Jesus Christ. You're going to have to do some serious work to that to make that budge. So if you needed a good utility blade, yeah, I mean, just that. And folks, check out that thickness. I mean, what's nice is you actually have a judgment. Uh, you got the keys. All right. I mean, it's thicker than the body. I mean, that's great. Keybar, you did a great job, bud. Really did. Now, if you're curious about how you release it, you push down on that. And there you go. Really easy, actually. Even with somebody with nails. Right there, I've already pinched into it a little bit, but I got long thumbnails. Because when you work with nail guns, you just want to sit there and just use your thumbnail and adjust the uh, tension screw or the uh, air pressure screw. Be surprised. Having your thumbnail, you can just click it right in. But yeah, you've... Key bar, you did a beautiful job. Thank you for this. I was more than happy to do this build video. And folks, if you're curious about this one here, this is their Valhalla edition, one of my favorites. This right here is their 2.0 deep carry pocket clip, which I mean, oh, oh yeah, major difference. I had the bronze regular. This is their 1.0, so that just gives you an idea of like the major difference to it and how it can change up your key bar right now ladies way for the heavy setup it's not bad at all i mean in all honesty it <laughs> compared with the slenderman this does weigh a little bit more i will admit that but mind you this is titanium if i actually had their Aluminum one, I'm wondering a little bit, but at the same time, the weight's not bad. Like, with you having a knife on it, I got four keys, two screwdrivers, deep carry pocket clip, lanyard. Yeah, not bad at all, in all honesty. And I mean, I'm loving this now, because now I can literally hold it like that and just adjust that all I want. And then at the same time, I got the other one right here, too, that I can use. So I can actually keep these going and don't have to worry about the thumb studs. Which those that were my personal preference, I removed those. I didn't require them. But to each their own, of course. And it looks like I'm going to have to play with the washers a little bit. But at the same time, that's a key bar. Once you get it formed in, get it worked in, works out how you want. And again, thanks, key bar. 
did a beautiful job. I'm loving this Warren Cliff. This thing is just cool. All right, Key. I know you want to join it, but gotta quit. I love how that clips in, and that right there is just beautiful. It's ingenious, in all honesty. And hopefully, the camera will get better close up there, so y'all can see. And this might help too. There we go. Yeah, because that's really thin, and that just gives you an idea of, like, the safety and everything. I mean, folks, they did a beautiful job. That's a good piece of titanium. And again, Olight T3i, great little flashlight. Just to give you an idea of comparison with it. Yeah, it's, like, perfect for in the pocket. Can't complain at all. I love it. Yeah, ladies' way, it does make it very convenient. I'm hooked on this thing. All right, so let's get to the unboxing. That's our key bar build. We're actually going to set that right there. And then if you folks haven't checked them out, and they, I've been getting questions about this, this is actually a copper pin from Refine. This is the copper pin that's been patinaed. Um, I kid you not, the patina on this pin is just unbelievable in my eyes. I've been hooked to it. And refine, this pin has been amazing. I have not had one problem with it, period. Except for trying to ride on myself. But it has worked for me through in, through out. Pardon me on the cap for looking new. Um, that's because I lost the last cap. So, but refine took care of me, no problem. Hooked me up with a new cap. So it's kind of like you have your patina and your new right up at the top. And I mean, this thing is just my favorite pin in the world right now. I've been hooked on it after the patina. That just gives you an idea on the copper. And there's just actually a J copper. It does patina very well. And I mean, it takes the wear and tear of everyday work. I got to give them credit. Refine, thanks again for that. You did a beautiful job. All right, so let's get to the unboxing. Let's get some of this mess cleaned up here. Of course, that's me. Always leaving a mess somewhere can't help it don't want to lose any parts from them all right get that out of the way okay next person I do want to talk about is hey nurse hey nurse EDC does some amazing work one of the things I've been enjoying truly are her coins and hanks now, mind you, this coin slip is from Black Flag. It's his limited edition purple one. Black Flag, thank you for this, buddy. It goes well with her coin. And camera, you're going to... Oh, thank you, camera. She did a beautiful job on this, folks. I'm in love with this thing. Memento Verde, most facente amena. I may have said that improperly. Forgive me on that, folks. Just trying my best on that. Yeah, she did a beautiful job. Hey, nurse, I give you credit. Hey, nurse EDC, she is just awesome at the stuff she does. This is one of her designer hanks. I mean, with her coin and everything, and then the other ones that she can do. If you're into sea or nautical, she's got you down. And I mean, from maps to coverage to where there's some days I do like to be silly, so I'll even do like, I love the little minions. They're my little friends. I can't resist them. But, I mean, she makes some beautiful stuff. I was hoping that one would fold out for me. There we go. She did this one for me, and I was hooked. I couldn't resist with all, all the little treasure hunting lines and everything. And then she did this one. That was This was my first hank from her. And it has some special meaning because it even has her uh, first little logo. And you can't really get this anymore. So it does have a lot of meaning to me. She did a beautiful design to it. And I mean, with this Hank, I treasure this one. Yeah, Ladies Way, they're, this is when she first started. And that just gives you an idea of how far she's grown. That's why when I got her coin, it was just, that was just another part of her adventure she's on. I mean, she makes some beautiful stuff. I mean, even this here, she made me two of them for our little competition. And this thing I love because it's the same design on the back. 
Her interior work is just great. Just to give you an idea on the here. This is one of my favorites because of how she did it. She cut out the exact piece design and just went crazy. I, I'm in love with this one. And then what's amazing is that. You don't see it very often on Hanks anymore. And that just shows you how far she goes. Hey, Nurse can do a beautiful job. And I mean, it's like a flip. It's like a literal 180 with some of her Hank designs. Because, I mean, you're not expecting that. I That's why I'm sometimes scared to use it. But she did a beautiful job. Hey, Nurse, thanks again for that. Again, folks, definitely check her out. She's on Instagram. She has her uh, own store she's starting up. She does some amazing work. Amazing individual. She works well in our community and is always helpful. And thanks again, hey, Nurse. Definitely keep it up. If you do your coin in silver or gold, I'm already buying from you. Well, folks, that was going to be the good start of our first unboxing there. I got this from her just a little while ago, and I couldn't resist. I had to show it off. She did such a beautiful job and put into this. It's like wrapped in a blanket of joy. I love it. Lone Wolf, how you doing, my friend? Thank you for joining in, buddy. We just got done showing off Hey Nurse's coin and showing off some of her amazing hanks that she has. We're now going to move on to something that's a little special. It's another coin that we got. Now, before I show this off, I want to mention Briggs & Row. Their service is beyond imagination. We had a couple of issues with shipping. And it wasn't their fault. It wasn't my fault. It was just the luck of the draw. And we lost two coins. And that's the only thing that's sad. I feel awful that we lost two coins that Grim Pocket has made. But that's sometimes how it goes. And go figure, on the third time was the charm. I was finally able to get my black one. Briggs and Row went the extra mile spent five months with me trying to get this coin to me and i have to thank you brother because i mean it's kind of funny how we still went for it it even says it right on the back there's still time to find your way and go figure it took a third time in a row and we finally got the black version of this this right here is the still time coin and this is by grim pocket Thank you, Briggs and Rowe, for getting this for me, buddy. I do appreciate it more than you can believe because this was one of the ones I was really after was the black version, and I also have a silver version. So now I have the dark and the light. So you really actually completed my set, my friend. Briggs and Rowe, you are a top notch, and whenever you have more products, I will be more than happy to purchase from you. That's what I definitely enjoy. And thanks again, my friend. And the Grim Pocket is... I'm just perfect when he designs these. He asked me one time what I've, how I felt about the design. Folks, it's high quality. Okay, I mean, you're seeing it right there on the camera. There is not literally one issue. You can read the numbers. That is a very, very small font. And you can actually see the details in the coin. And just that design alone, that's amazing. You did a beautiful job. So Grim Pocket, please keep it up, buddy. I'm after your next one, whatever you do. And folks, whatever religion you are, this coin works with it. You can be any type of religion, anything that you're following, this coin could be for you. It doesn't matter who you are, what you do. That's the best thing about our community. It's for everybody. So if you're really interested, check them out. If you see them out on Instagram and you see one you can snag, these are very nice to carry with you. They always remind you to be kind. And that's the best thing about Carry the Skull, is to be kind to others and always try to be wild when you can. Again, folks, Briggs and Row, thank you, buddy. Definitely check him out. He's on Instagram. Definitely worth it. So let's get to the next one, folks, because this one here is going to make me tear up because they did a beautiful job with that. All right, now I want to get to the clocks and colors. So I already got the bracelet on. This one here 
is actually one of their newer rings. I've had a few people ask me about this, and I kid you not, they did a beautiful job. Zach stuff, go figure, you already joined in. How you doing, buddy? Again, folks, definitely check out Zach stuff. If you're looking for knives information and stuff like that, that's where I went to these guys and I eventually found EMP. EMP hooked me up, and without those guys actually giving me the proper info, along with uh, Big Red EDC and Ethan Rune's EDC, oh man, they definitely hook you up. They give you the details you need, excellent entertainment, and you can't go wrong with it. They're actually legit, and that's sometimes hard to find. But back to what we were discussing, and thank you, Zach Stuff, for coming in, buddy. This is what you call Rock the Boat. And I was glad the light showed it. I've never seen a Peter Sison do this. That was crazy in my eyes. I've had a few different ones from them. I have a couple other jewelers. Even when I brought this into my jeweler, it, it, he was shocked. They did a beautiful job on this stone. I mean, in the sunlight, it is just amazing. I'm glad the light actually is working with it and the camera's holding true focus because the way that stone works, and it's funny, it's called rock the boat because that's literally what, that's what you have to do is rock the ring back and forth and you will see the waves just go forth. They did a beautiful job on this. And then you account for the details. You got all the little waves in it. And folks, it goes around the ring, all the way around it. Right, ladies way, they did it is just amazing how they did it. I mean, Clocks and Colors does a beautiful job, folks. If you get their Sterling Silver, they mark it C plus C925. You know you're getting a legit. They tag every single piece that they do. Now, if you're curious about warranty, lifetime. If you're wondering if their service is good, it's damn near white glove. I kid you not. I've, to be honest, I had two small issues. They, one was a size, one was an issue with the setting of the stone, which in any kind of ring um, manufacturer, designer, even handcrafted, you're going to have issues. They were very happy to fix it, and they fixed it right away. And I wasn't surprised. When you're dealing with designing products like this, you're going to have failures. They're going to occur. It does happen. And what you need to do as a customer is work with the company, be polite, and then get something worked out. You can always come to a proper resolve. And again, folks, this is Rock the Boat. They did a beautiful job. And of course, you gotta see how it looks. I got it in a size 10, got it for the uh, ring finger. Cause I mean, you can definitely not mistake this for a wedding ring. So I was looking for something I could wear on the left or right hand. And this is perfect. Even with, and this is just to give you an idea. If you have it with just the bracelet, this right here, it didn't matter what outfit you got on. You're standing out, but you're looking good. You're not like too much. You're right in there. It goes right with it. You don't have any problems. This right here is the afterlife, and it's a great match with this. I am trying to get their new bracelet that they have coming out. That may take me a while, as that's around $700. So I'll have to work something out to see what I can do. But I'll definitely work on getting that out as that's one of my favorites. This right here, folks, is just beautiful. I'll go ahead and put it back in this here to give you another idea. So you can see the stone again. They did a beautiful job on this. And the name is perfect for Rock the Boat. Because that's what you do is rock it back and forth and then you see all that. Clocks and Colors, thank you so much. You guys did a beautiful job to this. Seriously, you guys really did beautiful. Right, Blacks and Bones, that, that's what's nice about their rings. When you start dealing with the Peter Sight Stones, don't worry about if you're getting the same ring as someone. You're not. Every ring is different. Every single stone is different. I have tested this. I have bought nine of their rings so far. 
every single stone has been different. Even when I had to get a replacement or a resizing, the stone was different. So once you buy one, that's it's really that's it. So if you're one, if you find one that doesn't do the same thing as this, this might be the only one. I'm not sure, but that's the beauty of their work. It, and that's what I love about it. I mean, I'm sorry to keep showing it off, but it's, I've been wearing it for two days. I've been, I wanted to show this off so bad on Monday, but I had more items coming. I wanted to wait till Wednesday so I could show off the uh, new stuff that we got with the key bars. But man, they did a beautiful job on this. Clocks and colors, thank you so much. So worth it. And I mean, folks, it's a good size ring. As you can tell right there, the studding on that's beautiful. And of course, the camera wants to play a little funny with me. Now, folks, you wonder about price? It's at two fifty. That's about right for the amount of silver and the Peter size stone. So that's kind of what you're looking for on that. Oh yeah, <laughs> right, Black Bones. You're not kidding there. But yeah, they did a beautiful job on that. And at the same time, if you're looking for high quality service, you want high quality ring with a lifetime warranty. And I mean, on top of that, they got this awesome dice. You cannot resist with little skulls to go with the ring. I mean, it's like a perfect little combination. I mean, just to like, you know, tempt you all just a little bit. And yes, folks, I did purchase all the jewelry. All right, even the dice. None of this is sponsored. This was all out of my pocket because I wanted to try out their gear and I'm more than happy to present it because it's that good. I love giving honest reviews and you get to see it before your own eyes. If something is um, something you have a question about or anything like that, or if you might see something wrong with the product, please let me know. I'm happy to take a look at it. But at the same time, I want to give you honest reviews and not slander anyone. I want to give you the reviews that you want to hear and let you see the products and decide what you think. But in my opinion, Clocks and Colors, five star all the way. They're white glove. They do a beautiful job and they're going to raise up on the market. Right? <laughs> Black Bones, they're dice. Here. This is what's going to hook you. Go to a poker game. Take this beauty. This is their shot glass. They have them available right now. They're for $50. Worth it. And I mean seriously worth it. Those two anchors on the bottom are just an extra little notch. You show up to the poker table, tell them to give you a shot, and then you throw these on. Oh, God. There we go. Come on, camera. You won't work with me today. They did a beautiful job on this. I was hooked on this thing. And trust me, they sell out fast when they have them. So snag what you can. Because I mean, with them both, and the dice are only 20 bucks, folks. This right here is only 50. For 70 bucks, I mean, I've spent more on Jack Daniels sets. I mean, with this here, you could get a two shot set and the dice for $120. That's a deal. You need to look that up because it's worth your while, especially with what they got going on in the sales. Entirely worth it. Let's keep everything in view for you all here. That way, we can actually enjoy it all. Now, we got something special here. First off, Jeremy Sears has got some amazing products. He does leaf and barrel. I'm using his uh, whiskey cap or his uh, whiskey jar cap. All right, and what I wanted to do is I wanted to get a couple other items from him. So I looked online and I saw they had a flask. His flask actually was out of stock along with the leather sleeve. Recently it came back in and I was able to snag one. So I do want to give props to Jeremy Sears. He's got some amazing products, folks. His whiskey topper with this thing is, I kid you not, I love this. Just having that on my desk and I've taken this to a couple bars and I kid you not, they did not mind. They were really ecstatic about seeing something like this. And then it does catch people's attention. They start asking questions about it. 
And that's one of my marketing advantages is that with the amount of people I see a day, I mean, we're talking anywhere between 10 to 30 different people a day, and that's five days a week. So if I'm dealing with clients or I'm meeting with them at certain bars or breweries, this is one of the items I like to take. And it sparks a conversation and keeps everything going. The only thing is, not necessarily an everyday carry item. I have to work on building a case for this or finding something. So if any of you, like Black Bones, Ladies Way, anybody out there knows something to carry this in, I would love to find out because I've been trying to be very careful and I am worried one day I'm going to break this thing. But let's get to it. I have not opened this up, so forgive me, folks. I have been really eyeballing this. I kid you not, I have literally not touched it. Still wrapped up, still sealed. I haven't touched anything. Not a sticker I could put on. Now this is his leather sleeve. I'm showing this off first. So this is just a simple part, part of it. Ooh, okay, I'm already seeing the color. I'm already in love. All right. Man. I'm getting hooked. Zach stuff, that's a good idea. I didn't think about using a Pelican case for that. That's actually a really good idea, to be dead honest with you. Now, folks, this is Jeremy Sears' uh, flask case. This is his leather sleeve for it. Looks like I'm going to have to wear that in. I'm going to have to let that patina, patina, patina come to it. Man, he did a good job on that. I like that stitch work. Get that open and get it ready. Oh yeah, this thing is awesome. Okay, good. He didn't include a belt loop. That's one thing I was worried about. All the ones I've been finding lately have a belt loop. Zach stuff, good question. Good question. How's the smell? Oh wow. Okay, leather and rum. Or leather and whiskey, actually. <laughs> I kid you not, it does smell like leather and whiskey. Give you credit there, Jerry Sears. That's kind of odd. But, uh, yeah, it's... Man, this is going to be nice. Right, Black Bones? That's not a bad idea. Walk in with a Pelican case, like, with a couple of the guy's logos, like, even Zach stuff logo or his patch, and just pull that glass out. That's actually a really good idea. Thank you guys for that. I'll look at Pelican cases for that size to see what we can find. But now let's get to the flask. That's what we're waiting on for this thing. All right. Now, if you haven't ordered from Jeremy Sears before, man, this thing's chunky. Okay. That actually might be wood. Yep. Okay. So, this is how he wraps his stuff. I love it. I love the wax seal. I always try to save these here when I can because I try to use them on... Little stuff that I'm trying to do for displays for art shows. So I try to save the strings and everything if I can. I almost kind of want to save this for the art show, but I can't resist. I wanted to do an unboxing for it. Now, this is actually kind of nice. Thank you for doing that, because last time it did not work out so well for me on that part. And, of course, it didn't. Well, you know what? That's why we got this. Beautiful. Gotta love auto blades. All right, folks. That way I can save his seals. That's one thing I've been doing is trying to save them with the ropes. And let's go ahead. Let's give it a shot. Kind of want to rip it like Christmas present, but at the same time, I want to see if I can't save what I can save here. All right, here we go. All right, folks, let's check out Jeremy Sears' whiskey glass. This thing should be pretty good. Ooh. Okay, I was right on the money. It's wood. Oh, wow. Okay. I've bought uh, two or three uh, flasks in my time. Never gotten one in a wooden box. Never. This is awesome. Jeremy, I give you credit, buddy. Got me hooked. Man, this is... Buddy, he... Did, that is not cheap. Man. 
uh, folks, for 50 bucks? I mean, just the box alone. Wow. Yeah, and with this, I mean, mind you, the flask is just 50. This will cost you an extra 25, but I mean, that's actually decent leather. So, I mean, wow, Jeremy, you've done beautiful, buddy. So, let's check this out, guys. Oh, there's my stickers. Thank you, buddy. I was praying for these. I was getting worried. I was like, oh, no, I need more stickers. Yes. I need another one for my truck. Thank you. Yeah, Zach stuff, just the flask, okay, is 50 But it comes with the box still. And that's actually magnetic. I'm I'm impressed. And, I mean, yeah, that means you can use it for something else if you wanted to, which I actually, this is perfect. I needed those stickers there. But no, um, the sleeve you can buy separate if you wanted to, or buy them as a pack for seventy-five. For seventy-five bucks, I mean, even I paid the little extra for shipping and paid about eighty-one dollars at the end of it. The last flask I got with my initial engrave cost me a hundred and seventy dollars, and it was a metal one. But I also bought a glass one that cost me a hundred and ninety that was hand blown. But, I mean, they didn't come in anything like this. I mean, this is just, oh, my God. All right, that's beautiful. Oh, you even include a funnel? Okay, that right there just sold me. I've never gotten a funnel with a flask. All right, folks, this right here is just a winner. All right, I'm sorry. I know we're trying to look at the flask, but this right here, right here, lifesaver. My God, thank you. Just thank you for this. This makes it so much easier in the long run for including a funnel with the flask. And my God, this is beautiful. But again, he, he included the funnel. Thank you for that. My God, that is the extra bonus. For 75 bucks, you can get the funnel, the flask, the box, and the sleeve. I mean, you can't go wrong there, folks. That's just too damn beautiful. He did a great job on that and he included a funnel. Cannot believe that. That's been one of my biggest gripes about flasks is they never include these. Thank you for that. Jeremy, you were awesome for that, buddy. So let's take a look at this, folks. He does this presentation is just immaculate. Okay, this is just beautiful. Oh yeah. Okay. I'm trying to I'm losing space here. I'm losing my mind. This is just too beautiful. All right, folks, this is Jeremy Sears glass. His, this flask is just great. Four ounce, 120 milliliters, double ridge, good. Wow, okay, Jeremy, you did a good job, bud. Now, forgive me, folks, I am a perfectionist. There are certain things I am gonna look for. Yes, they did a beautiful job to this. They have the bubble ridge. That's perfect. Wow, I have a $190 flask and it doesn't even have that part there. And oh man, this is just beautiful. I've been wanting a glass one for a while. That way it actually can hold the flavor really well. Oh, no problem, Zach. Stuff. Go enjoy your dinner, my friend. I don't blame you. That's why I save all the videos. But thank you for coming in. And ladies, way you're right. It is one hell of a deal. And yes, this is a brass cap. Man, that sucker is like... Oh, wow. Nice threading. It does have a seal. I felt it. Take a look. Oh, man. That is a beautiful brass cap. I love the insert on the inside so that you actually have a proper threading. And then, of course, what everyone's curious about, the threads on here. It did a beautiful job. I know it does look like a bolt. Man, he did great on this. I'm not seeing any major imperfections or anything. I do see an air slot. 
Let's take a look, see. Looks all good. You're always going to have some little stuff here and there. Yep, all good. Cap slides on real well. Like that. Man. What's cool is you get the JS on the glass. And then you get the skull logo on the leather. Oh, man, this is just beautiful. All right. We got to put the leather on her. We got to see how it looks. Probably going to stretch it. Let's take a look, see. And I swear if I drop this and it breaks, everybody just laugh. That would be my luck. That's how clumsy I am. Okay. We're going to have to work it a little bit. But I like that. It's a little tight. Oh man, this is going to have a good shape then. If I can get it on there. Forgive me folks, I'm trying to do it without like putting too much force because it is glass at the same time. Okay. She's getting in there now. Alright, once I can get that over, we'll be okay. I'll go right ahead, Black Bones. You are perfectly fine, buddy. I'm just sitting here trying to make sure I can get this in there. There we go. And we are in, folks. Okay, that's just cool. That's just really cool. You can include the brass cap on there. Oh, yeah. The flash by Jeremy Sears. This is just awesome. You can see the glass pop out of the edges just a little bit. Even with his presentation box. Oh, man. And this is the lid for it, folks. He did a beautiful job on this. There we go. Had to grab it there again. My God, he did beautiful. I love this thing. This is going to be a great showpiece, especially at the bars. They're going to be asking a lot of questions about this. This is not something you commonly see. And I'm in love. Jeremy, you did an amazing job on this, my friend. You really did. I am really hooked on this. I just love how that just comes off so easy, folks. And I mean, when it clips on, it seals. And I mean, it does a great job. I have not had one problem with it. That is awesome. I just keep I keep testing it because I've had glass flasks before. And I never had one with a brass cap. This is entirely new to me. I've never seen one like that. And it's really nice in all honesty like just to give you the rifle comparison that is just amazing carrying the pocket I'd like to give you something to give you a good actually here great comparison key bar right beside it you could easily slide that in your pocket if you wanted to you could hide this in your back pocket so I know for all the parents out there that sometimes uh, you need something on the side yeah you know what I'm talking about perfect for you and then what's nice is you can tell when you need more without having to like you know let everybody know so big advantage jeremy shares did a beautiful job buddy i'm loving this i really am this is awesome i'm not going to figure out what to do with your box though because this is a badass i want to figure out some treasure for this here so thank you for this my friend i love this here and again folks just a heads up we got more products coming. Uma Thorpe actually has a big package of stuff coming to us. And I can't thank you enough, Uma Thorpe, for holding that stuff for me. So I have that coming here this week. So that'll be for our next video for our unboxing. So if you're curious, if we're getting more clocks and color pieces, I am trying to order some more to have on the way. I gave Richard and Megan a heads up. That way um, we can try to get something going. So if you're curious and you're wanting to get one of the pieces, definitely check out Rock the Boat. Because with this here in the Jeremy Sears, this is amazing. You can't resist. And then tie that in with the key bar. 
I mean, come on, folks. This is what you call an awesome EDC. Got the wristbands, the rings, key bar, and your flask. Where can you resist? Brand new knife for the key bar. I mean, that's true EDC right there. Well, folks, I do need to take the show to an end. We'll be ready again next week. I'll try again Monday or Wednesday, depending on what the time frame can do with the packages. And then we'll get some more stuff for you guys. But if you have any questions, hit me up. I'm more than happy to help out anyone on Instagram. I also put the videos up on YouTube, I'm trying to get that started and going to try to give you guys a little bit more access. But I hope you all have a wonderful night, and thank you for joining the Modern Pirate Lord. Have a good one.